Hi folks and welcome to Open Analysis Live. So have you ever wondered why does X60 debug stop at that random breakpoint every time you start to debug a new sample? What's going on there? Now some of you might have figured out this is called the system breakpoint, but then you might be asking, what is the system breakpoint? What does that mean? Well, stick around and we will explain it. But before we do, just a quick shill for our Patreon. The clip that you're about to see comes from one of the tutorials we released on Patreon. It's a seven part series on building a debugger from scratch. We build it in Python and give you all the details on what's happening under the hood while you're building it. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I encourage you to go check it out. Hope to see you there. Without further ado, let's get on with it. The system breakpoint. You might've seen this in X64 debug referred to as the system breakpoint, or you might've seen Microsoft refer to it as the loader breakpoint or loader do debugger break. That's the actual official name for the function that does this. What this is, is this is a software breakpoint that has been hard coded into NTDLL and it's triggered at the end of the process loader routine. So when a new process is created, it's gonna load all the DLLs that it requires. At the end of that loader routine, it's gonna trigger this system breakpoint. Now, the system breakpoint doesn't always trigger. You have to have a debugger attached to trigger it. But if there's a debugger attached, it's going to raise up into your debugger as a software breakpoint. Now, you don't have to actually do anything when this breakpoint is raised. You can just pass continue execution back to the target. The reason why this breakpoint is there is to give the debugger a chance to actually do something at the end of the loader routine. It's like kind of a last chance. Do you want to do anything with the target once the loader routine is ended? There's one important thing to keep in mind here, and I'm gonna elaborate on it more in the hardware breakpoint module, but just keep in mind that during the loader routine, any registers that are set, so these would be any hardware breakpoints that are set, are gonna be cleared at the end of the loader routine. And this includes during the system breakpoint. So if you're using the system breakpoint to try and set a hardware breakpoint in the CPU registers, it's gonna be cleared once a loader routine returns. This can cause all kinds of problems and confusion. It's not well documented. So it's good to keep that in mind. However, you can do pretty much anything else you want at the system breakpoint. You can take a look at the process memory. You can set software breakpoints. Just you can't set any hardware breakpoints because they aren't persistent. I hope you enjoyed that. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's more of that on our Patreon. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, go check it out. Hopefully we see you there. And remember, keep exposing the canvas behind the malware. Stay curious, guys.